Hi everybody. Good morning. How's your day going? Well, mine's going the same old way. I'm lonely. Nobody talks to me. And uh, I wish I could have you guys talk back to me. I could hear you. I'm just sitting here in my bedroom all alone. My wife's in the other part of the house. Or she went somewhere. It's easy to snake out of here. Nobody knows. It. Anyway, uh, the purpose of my video is today is uh, I want you guys and you, my woman fans to help me get back my marriage together. I got to realize I'm too young. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm too old to pick up any other woman out there. I'll be, if she divorces me, I'll be alone the rest of my life. No, I really don't like it. My wife is very good to me. She's the only wife I had out of the three. It kept the house clean. She washes my clothes. She does everything nice to me. And the best thing she ever did for me, people, was just, uh, when I got out of the hospital, I told you to put that thing on my thinky down there. Like, I can't I have to go pee in the back. It was painful. It was miserable. I don't know why they did that. I never dropped one. Squirt of urine on her pop on the floor. Always oh, used the plastic flower. Get that baby, the nurse had to put that thing on me for I could pee in the bag and cause me pain and misery. I never had that done before. I've been to plenty of hospitals. I've been sick a few times already, six, seven times already for uh, uh, pneumonia. Why do they have to do that? What kind of hospital is this? I'm not telling people this is for real. Um, anyway, guess what? My wife has the ability to take that thing off. First she told me, well, when I had my first baby, I just pulled that thing around and everything is fine. So I tried it, and that was the worst thing I ever did to myself, people. I screamed bloody murder for a minute, and, didn't, and it didn't come out when I pulled and yanked it as hard as I could. And she had the ability to do that all this time. And she waited three days later, and she finally gave it to my uh, and, uh, and, uh, and took it out herself. She knows how to do that stuff. I was probably from taking care of old people when I met her. She was a black man. She did that for a living. I should have turned on Echo out before I made this video. Next time I have to remember. Anyway, uh, that was the most, best, best thing she ever did to me. I was really comfortable after she pulled it out. I could behave like a normal person again. I wouldn't have to carry that thing around with me by hand and carry my nose piece and all that plastic to me. I felt like a prisoner still, even after I came home. Now, I don't have to wear that oxygen thing, thing 24 hours a day. It's not going to do any better if I were to work two hours a day. It's not going to help me run the quarter mile in so much time, or even run the mile, mile in four minutes. It's never going to do that, people. <laughs> it's just there in case you run out of oxygen you know, we need something to read. It's there for emergency, for bone. Anyway, uh, I want you guys and you, my woman subscribers to tell me how to fix my marriage. What can I do? I would offer to take her to Red Lobster to never have one of the ten dollar pina colada so she ate her delicious fish dinner. And she doesn't even want to go out with me. What am I supposed to do? I told her how grateful I was. I thought she was the best wife I ever had. And to the honest God, true, she was. Of course, my wife, other two wives didn't have to, they have to do that because of the strange people at this hospital putting that thing on me, my thin little thing down there, and being in a bad, Ooh, that's the worst thing that the hospital could have done with me. Anyway, I'm going to call that hospital today. They're supposed to be calling back and find out why they put that thing on my, both my hands why I couldn't touch anything and let me there for hours. I even tried to ask nice of them and see if they would take it out. They wouldn't. And, but the main purpose of the video is, once again, tell me how to get back my marriage together. I know my wife is upset. She lost her job. I would be very upset too and mad at everybody. 
And uh, if I lost my job, and um, she decided yesterday to go off my uh, my video channel, and believe me, she's not going to get any place with her own channel. She doesn't have any subscribers. I think it's only six thousand. She only has around six thousand five hundred subscribers. But she's going to be very upset about that pretty soon. I let her use my channel. I know she needs a head start. She needs something to get her going. She enjoys doing my stream, but I don't know. With only 6,000 subscribers, she's not going to get very far. She's going to be upset about that. And then she might be so bad, she'll turn around, divorce me, and just leave. What am I supposed to do? How can I get my marriage back together again? I told her how nice little woman she was, I said, she just pulled the thing out of my thing. And she just came back with a dirty compliment to me. She wants me to be get mad at her. I don't know what's wrong with her. Can you please suggest things? Uh, and tell her Johnny D really loves her. And, and, and I'm going to die if she leaves me. I'm going to start smoking cigarettes again. I'm going to really booze it up. I might even take my car and get it up to 100 miles an hour and crash into something. I'm going to die. I can't stand being lonely and by myself. I really do need her love. She was so nice to me 11 years ago when we met. And nice in the bedroom. Why does people get so disgusted with their partners after their years of marriage? I know I'm not the best, worst, probably the worst person for sex being my age that uh, anybody can possibly be with. But she uh, did take care of me. Um, you know, I really, that's one of the best things about her, that I fell in love with her all these years. She keep, takes care of me no matter. Uh, she generally lets me say what I want to say. Uh, she uh, is a, she the only one my wife that kept my house clean. The other two, <laughs> especially the first one. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the mess of house I had to come home to after a hard day's work. You know, uh, please suggest something to her, or give me suggestions what to do to save my marriage. And in return, I'll say a lot longer and give you more videos of my singing for free. Because YouTube doesn't pay me any money. I don't know why. Just because I was stupid enough last January to give out my password to uh, some uh, asshole trying to scam me on Facebook. I said, why can't I lie to you on your Facebook asking me to join your record deal? He said, oh, it's easier. He, I never heard his voice. All I've seen in his typewritten letters like you do when I see you guys typing on my uh, live streams. And uh, I just wish maybe some of you guys can give me a suggestion on how to keep my marriage going. Or a gentleman you woman may come up with some good ideas. And uh, I guess you're just gonna have to text me or something. Uh, or get through me through uh, YouTube. Same with the uh, guys and women both. I don't, uh, and another thing too, I heard my wife's last video, she was bitching at me to you, her subscribers, about how I was asking to donate a lousy quarter a week to join Patreon. And the main reason I asked that of people like you fans is because YouTube is still punishing me for giving out my password. I was so happy when I came back from Wright's house in summer in June 21st to find out they approved my AdSense finally after six months of begging and writing there to no thing. They haven't given me my $100,000 plaque yet. What? I need suggestions. Uh, some of you, if you know anybody who works for YouTube in San Francisco, to help me. I deserve that plaque. I reached that plaque number twice on an old channel 
and the gym. And as a folks, I'm, I'm not kidding you. I'm telling you, honest God, truth, hope to die. I'll start on a sack of Bible. The truth, I haven't got a penny from YouTube from AdSense since last November 24. And I'm talking about 2017, November 24. I haven't got paid one penny for AdSense. That's another reason I ask you. Uh, when I see you guys, you're asking for a video. I don't know how old you are. Sometimes I don't even know what sex you are. I don't know if you're gay or normal. I don't know what your age is. Maybe you're, you're a 10 year old kid that uh, never is gonna have a, a checking account or a credit card account for another 10 years. Yet. I don't know that because I don't know how old you are. You keep asking me how old I am. I tell you I'm 75. But I don't know how old you are. All I know is you're asking for a bunch of music for me to sing. And you, you're, you're too cheap to for 25 cents a week, and a quarter a week. That's all. I'm, ask, I'm not asking for a million dollars. I don't know that you're only a 19 or 15 year old or 18 year old still going to school. You don't tell me that. Please forgive me for asking you for a quarter a week and telling you're too cheap if you're just a kid going to school. Before uh, YouTube, PewDiePie met me, I had all adult people watching my channel. I didn't have any children watching my channel, asking for the videos. No wonder you can't afford a quarter a week. You have to get it from your parents. I don't want you to ask your parents for me. I may be asking people for a quarter a week that are old enough to go to work after high school and make a living and have a checking account and a credit card account. I'm asking you guys for a quarter a week and why am I even doing that? Because YouTube won't pay me. I haven't made a penny since 2017, November 24. This last check I got for $144. Sure, it was a small check. Sure, I was small back then. I only had 8,000 subscribers. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this video short. My son suggests people like short videos. So here's your short video. Please respond back to me. Bye.